Hello again everybody. Today's topic is page sets in Cognos Analytics reporting. My name is Mark Harris and I'm a senior principal consultant at PM Square. Page sets have been around for quite a while. As far back as I can remember in Cognos 8 or even even prior to that in ReportNet. But I think they're often overlooked and forgotten about feature of the product so I thought we'd take a quick look at them today. A page set is one way to get a page break in your report by something that you wish to view the report by, such as by product line. That's going to be the example we use today. So I've built a simple report. Uh, it's revenue by year uh, for the retailer types in the Go Sales query package uh, from the samples that have been provided throughout the Cognos Analytics life uh, of the application. So page one includes that simple report. We're going to go ahead and drag a page set onto the report and we are going to name it product line page set. We are going to set the query to product lines, which I already had built. And we are going to group and sort the page set by product line. Click OK. And now we're going to drag page one into our page set product line detail pages. So you can see it's kind of a hierarchy here. We have the page set, we have the grouping, and then we have the detail pages under that grouping. Now if we double click and go into the page, we have our simple cross tab, and we have to define master detail relationships. I already had this done, and it appears that it retained that, so um, shame on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And if this was a brand new relationship, you would click new link and then associate product line in the page set with product line in the report. Click OK. And now we can run the report and see what kind of difference this makes in our output. So the output before was for all products, just by retailer type. Now you can see we have pages that we can navigate the various product lines. Well, it would be nice to know what product line we were looking at. So let's go back to our page and we're going to drag a layout expression onto the page in front of the cross tab. And we're going to go ahead and select product line from our product lines query. That product line is already being uh, is already part of the page set, so it's available to us in the in the report. So let's click OK. Now let's throw a little uh, styling on it. Let's uh, make the font bold and make it 12 point. Make it stand out a little bit. Let's run the report again. And now you can see camping equipment is what's being shown now. We page down, golf equipment, mountaineering, and so forth. So just a simple example of page sets and how they can be used to enhance your report. Um, one other point I would like to display here is when we output this to Excel, the nice thing is we'll get a tab for each product line or each iteration of the product line page set. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. And there you can see camping equipment, golf equipment, mountaineering, outdoor, and so forth. One note before I conclude this short article is that to see these values a system setting needs to be changed uh, that allows the Excel tabs to show these values 
of the page set rather than uh, page one, page two, or uh, set one or set two or whatever comes in by default. So just something to keep in mind. Anyway, that's the topic. Page sets, um, find a way to use them. They're very useful, very powerful. And uh, hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.